Okay, today we're going to be doing more calculus. Uh, today's question is, sketch the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 using its domain, symmetry, intercepts, asymptotes, relative extrema, and any points of inflection. Identify the open intervals in which the function is increasing or decreasing and concave up or down. Now the first thing we need to look at is the domain. And as you can see, the domain we have is going to be from negative infinity to infinity because there's nothing in the denominator. Um, next, we're going to look at the symmetry. Uh, we have x, the x-axis um, equaling, uh, you, put it, you substitute in um, a negative for the y. So we have the negative y equals x squared minus 4x minus 5. We are trying to get back to the original equation. Um, since that's not going to work out, we're going to have to cross that one out. So there's no x-axis symmetry. Uh, next, we're going to look at the y. y, we're going to substitute in negatives for all the x's. So that also is not going to work out. That's going to make it another even, so we're going to have even numbers. Um, no minuses, so that's not going to work out either. So we're, we don't have y. Next is the origin, and for that we're going to plug in negatives for both the x's and the y's, which also is not going to work out, as you can see. Um, next, we're going to try and find the intercepts, and for that we're going to do the x1 first. So the x-intercept, you're going to plug in a 0 for the y. So that is going to give you uh, x plus 1 and x minus 5, which x will then equal to negative 1 and 5. So then next is going to be the y-intercept, which then you take the opposite of what you did before, which is going to be x equals to 0. So you plug in uh, 0 for all the x's, and then that gives you uh, y equals to negative 5. Um, after that, we're going to go to the asymptotes. Um, since we don't have a domain, I mean a denominator, uh, we're going to get nothing for these. Um, the vertical, the horizontal, and the slant is, doesn't exist. Um, next, we are going to go to finding the first derivative. Um, in order to do that, we're going to take the original equation and then we're going to divide it, or find the derivative. So we have 2x minus 4, and then you equal it to 0. That gives you 2 times parentheses uh, x minus 2, and that's going to give you x equals 2. So you take the 2, and then we're trying to find the left and the right. So we're going to have the left as negative infinity to 2, and then we're going to have 2 to infinity on the right. So the left, we're going to plug in a number that's to the left of it. So we're gonna, I'm going to pick 1 and we're going to take uh, the f prime of 1 and plug that in for x. So that's going to give you a negative 2 so that's decreasing so it's going down as shown by the arrow. Um, for the other one, for the right side, we're going to plug in a 3 since that's to the right. Um, that's going to be f prime of 3 and then we're going to do the math here and then that's going to give you a positive 2. So that's going to go increasing, so it's going to go up since it's positive. Um, so we have these two. So we're, we're looking for a relative min here. So to, in order to do that, we're going to plug in the 2 to the original equation. So that's going to be f of 2. So we're going to get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. It's going to give you a negative 9. So that we have a rel relative min at 2 and not, 2 and negative 9. Next, we're going to find if there is a point of inflection. So we're going to do the second derivative of the first derivative. So we're going to get just 2. So since it's positive and it's the only thing there, it's going to be always positive. So, so no matter what you put into f double prime 2, uh, it will always be positive, which makes it concave up from negative infinity to infinity. And then last, we're going to show you 
what we know so far, and then we're going to graph it. So what we know is the uh, domain is negative infinity to infinity. There's no symmetry or asymptotes. Uh, we have an x-intercept at negative 1, 0, and 5, and 0. Um, then we have a y-intercept at 0, negative 5. It is decreasing on negative 2, or negative infinity to 2, and increasing on 2 to infinity. And we have a relative min at 2, at negative, uh, negative 9. We have no points of inflection, and we have concave up on negative infinity to infinity. So the graph is going to look like this. We have our x's, x-intercepts, here and here. We have a y-intercept there. And we have our point, that's our relative min, is here, 2, negative 9. So we're going to, it's going to be uh, concave up through the whole thing. And it's going to be decreasing to 2 and increasing to positive infinity. And there you have it.